In this video, we will be making ground beef pinwheels. This recipe uses a basic biscuit recipe. You can use any one you want. I will link one at the end of this video that works really good. The dried mustard and dried parsley flakes are added to that biscuit recipe during the dry mix. In this video, we're gonna showcase how to make the inside mixture and construct the pinwheel itself. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees. In a mixing bowl, add your ground beef, green peppers, onions, celery, Worcestershire, oats, ketchup, salt, and your eggs. Mix it all up until it is completely combined. If you'd like, you can use a spoon for this or you can just get in there with your hands. It is completely up to you. Lightly dust your surface with some flour. And then grab your biscuit dough and you're gonna want to roll it out to a rectangular shape. If you find anything is sticking, go ahead, add some flour to your rolling pin, flour to your surface a little bit more if necessary. Once your biscuit dough is completely rolled out, grab your meat mixture and you're gonna place it down and evenly spread it across your whole entire nice flat biscuit dough, making sure to leave about an inch around the outer edges. And this is so you can seal everything up afterwards. You wanna try and make sure that when you're rolling out your biscuit dough, it's as even as possible all the way across so that everything cooks nice and evenly. And then the same thing goes for your meat mixture. When you're putting it out, there make sure that it is about as thick all the way across so again everything cooks nice and even so starting from your edge that doesn't have as much biscuit dough left out of it you're gonna want to start to roll your dough and continue to roll it slowly all the way across once you get to the end using a pastry brush or your fingers or a spoon whatever you need to use grab a little bit of water and wet down that one end of your dough and what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow the dough to seal nicely together and then just press it together roll it up and close up your edges if you like and there you have your roll now if you want you can bake it solid like this it would be on a lower temperature for quite a bit longer to make sure that everything is cooked inside what we're gonna do today is we are going to cut it and cook it in slices using a nice sharp knife slice the edge off and then place it on a parchment lined cookie sheet if you don't have parchment of course you can always use a little bit of oil continue to do so trying to make sure that each piece is just as thick as the one before and continue until you are done the whole entire roll once everything is nice and sliced place it in your oven and bake for approximately 30 minutes until the beef is completely cooked your biscuit pastry is nice and brown and fluffy top with gravy or ketchup or any other type of sauce or eat it on its own this makes a great main dish in your meal or a wonderful snack enjoy